Alright guys, welcome back. So in our last saving game tutorial, we looked at how to save the game using text files, and we would just write the name of the room that we're in to the text file, and then we would load that name back whenever we selected continue. Um, what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is how to use any files to save our game, which will allow you to save more than one piece of information at a time, and generally just provide you with a different, more interesting way of uh, setting up your save games and saving other information like options and all sorts of things. Like For those getting confused, this is what on any file generally sort of looks like when um, it's got data in it. It has a bunch of sections uh, kept in square brackets and then different keys in those sections. And then each of those keys has a value. So here, like this is like a slightly modified version of the any file from another perspective. So here in options, for example, language is set to zero, which by default would be English in the game. Uh, full screen is zero, so it wouldn't be full screen. The lights are turned on, the timer is turned off, FPS turned off, music turned on, and so on and so forth. And like you can store numeric values um, to these innies, or you can also store strings, like I down here in the profile section, name Sean JS as a string. So this is just what an any looks like, and I'll show you how to create these files in GameMaker and also how to read information from them. So the, how we're going to do that is we're actually going to use the same game that we had set up for uh, the first saving game tutorial, uh, which is just this little thing with the little green dude walking around going through the levels. But this time, instead of just going through the levels, and you can see it says this here is level 1 and points equal 0, I've added a point system in, so they, these these little pink squares you can pick up and they give you points and there's like a bunch of them on the level we're only going to pick up three and then carry on through the level and it says this is level three points it's three we just have a global variable that's tracking how many points we have and that's the end of the game and what i'm going to have this game do is that every, at the beginning of every level we're going to save uh how many points we had and what level we're on and whenever we hit continue we're going to load how many points we had and what level we're on and then hopefully you can use the system and apply it to whatever type of loading or saving system you're trying to create. So I've got two scripts set up to do this. Um, they're totally blank at the moment. SCR save game and SCR underscore load game. SCR underscore load game will happen when we select continue from the menu and SCR save game will happen at the very beginning of every room our player object um, exists in. So at the beginning of each room uh, the player object will call the script and it will save the game. Won't at the moment because the script doesn't do anything. So that's what we're going to do first. Uh, those of you who did watch the previous Ape Game tutorial will recognize most of this code. It's all very similar. It's just, you know, got a few minor alterations because we're using any files this time and we're going to save our points as well. Uh, our points, for those wondering, is going to be tracked by a global variable called global underscore points, which is already set up in the code for this game and has had numbers added to it and so on and so forth. So we know what our points are at any given time. We just need to save and load that value from our any file. So the first thing I'm going to do is say if file underscore exists save dot sav. We're just going to use that arbitrary save sav extension again. Doesn't really matter what you put there. Um, file delete save dot sav. So if the file already exists, we're going to get rid of it so that we can overwrite it with a new save game. Whether or not you want to apply some sort of safety check here and say like oh, player, there's already a save file, are you sure you want to overwrite, etc.? Depends on what you're making, and so on and so forth. Um, but here we're just, you know, we're, we're just going to, if the file already exists, we're going to delete it. We need to know if it exists already. So, assuming we've done that, we know that there is no file there, but we're going to say any underscore open save dot, capital S, save dot sav. Now, you might be confused because we've just ensured that there is no such file, because if the file did exist, then we deleted it. Um, so why are we trying to open save.sav? Well, all this really does is it opens this file for writing and, and reading, and if the file doesn't exist, um, GameMaker creates it. Um, the file itself isn't actually saved and created until you finish with the file, once you've like added some stuff to it, and then you say any close, then it will save the file if it didn't already exist in the first place. But for now, having done any underscore open, uh, this file is open now for reading and writing, um, and we can write data to it into memory, and then when we close the file, it will create the file if it didn't already exist. So, the first thing we want to do is just add the room that we're in. Exactly, It's done 
basically in the same way we added um, the save room to our previous uh, save game file. Save so yeah, var saved room is going to equal room, so it's going to we're going to just set this uh, variable to equal the index of whatever room we're in right now. I'm going to say any write real, which means we're going to write a real number to our save file. And now instead of just uh, identifying the file we're writing to and identifying the um, the the value that we're going to write into it, like we were writing to a text file, we need to establish exactly where we're writing this information to the any file because it's you remember it has this slightly more complex structure it has all, all of this so like it has this we need to know what section we're writing to um, what so I'll bring it up again we need to know what section we're writing to what key we're writing to and what value we're actually going to be writing into that key so the first thing and you can see down here it comes up down there so the section. So the section we're going to be writing to. I'm just going to say like, like giving the idea that we maybe we had multiple save slots. Uh, I'm going to say like save one. Oh, not press F1 by mistake. Save one. So you could have multiple sections called save one, save two, and so on and so forth in theory, because each key would be unique to that section. You can have the same key in different sections. Uh, the key is going to be the room, so the room name that we're currently in. And the actual value we're putting in that should be obvious. Say room, the variable that we just assigned a second ago. Same colon. So now we've stored the, the room we're in. And the next thing we want to do is store how many points we currently have. So I'm going to use the same line again, any write real, which again is to write a real number. If you want to write a string, you can use any write string as well to write a string into the any file. But I'm just going to write use real. I'm going to use that same section again. Uh, this time the key can be called points, uh, and the value we're writing is going to be global dot points, the number of points we currently have in the game. And then all I need to do is say any underscore close, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon, and then it'll take all of that stuff it's done in the memory. We'll close and we'll actually finish creating that dot sat file and we'll close it so that we can no longer read or write to it. So now that we've done that, I'm going to save that and I'm going to run this. And I'm going to hit start. I'm going to move through to level two. I'm going to pick up two of these so we have exactly two points and then move to level three. So now we're on level three and we have two points. At the start of this room has saved that information so that information should be saved in our any file now. So if I go to the folder uh, the working folder for this, which is app data local saving two, just happens to be the name of this project. You can see here a new file has been made called save.sat. And if I open that, we can see here it's done as we expected. It's created a section called save one, the points uh, equals two, that's the number of points we have, and uh, the index of the room is three, it's, it's the third room. So that's the room it'll load. Excellent, so we know we're saving all our information correctly now. Now all we need to do is make it so we can load the game. So I'm going to go into ser underscore load game. And again, write mostly the same code as from the previous tutorial. If file exists, save dot sav. Oh wait, no. Save, save dot sav, there we go. <laughs> so if that file exists. Oh, I can't type today at all. So if that file exists, any open again, save dot sav, we use the same line of code whether or not we're reading or writing, unlike text files. So we just open up the file again and we're going to say uh, var loaded room equals any underscore read underscore real. It's not the same as our previous line, but we're reading instead of writing now. And so we're going to get. Uh, get a value from our any file and put it into this variable. So we need to declare the section that we're reading, which is save one. Um, the key that we're reading, which is the room. And, and then all you need to do is put in a default value. Um, so if there is no, if for some reason it's opened this file, but there's like, it can't find this uh, value or there's nothing in the value, you know, the value doesn't exist for some 
reason, like it got edited or corrupted in some way, then you need to give it a default that it will just have to assume. And that obviously makes sense to say level one, which is the, the room name of our first level. So that's that line. Then we need to we need to load in the number of points that we've got on our save game. So global dot points, we're just going to assign this to be whatever we read from the file. So any underscore read real again save one. Uh, the key is points, and the default value would be zero. I would guess. Any underscore close save. So we've opened it for reading, we've not written anything to it this time, but we've just read this information from it. And then after we've done that, we can use that information and say room, go to a loaded room. Um, and then we can put an else in here as well if the file doesn't exist at all and just I don't know, not do anything in there. Maybe you want to have something that says, oh, we couldn't find your save file or whatever, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm happy with it to do anything. Uh, why is this? Oh, right, of course. Yeah, sorry, you don't actually need to put in the... <laughs> sorry, my mistake if you were writing along. Um, you don't actually need to put in the name of the file that you opened with any underscore open. You just need to write any underscore close, as I'm pretty sure we did in our save game one. Yeah, you just need to write any underscore close, and it will already know what you want. It's a little bit smarter and easier to use, really, than the uh, the text file, reading and writing. So that's that. Now we should load in the the room, which, as we knew, is three, and the point, which is two. So we should load on to level three with two points when we run the script. And there we go. It works perfectly. This is level three, points two. And if I move on to level four, and I close the game, reopen the game, Continue, level four, two points. See, remembers everything. So that's that. That's how you save and load using an any file. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. See you, dudes.